Hello, today I'm going to tell you how to get spores for store-bought mushrooms. This process is very simple and is a good start if you want to start growing your own mushrooms at home. Imagine the money you can save by growing the mushrooms that you buy from the supermarket. Alright, let's get into it. What you're going to need is a sheet of paper. I'd say get a sheet of paper that's darker, like gray, so you can see the spore print. Because the spore print can be any color depending on the mushroom. It could be white, it could be black, you know. So, you're going to want to Google what color the spore the spores from the mushroom you have are, and then get the opposite sheet of paper color, if you can, if that makes sense. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a cup. So what you're going to want to do is take the mushroom from the package or the bag and remove the cap from the stem. Take the stem, set it aside from the cap, take the mushroom cap and place it gills down on your sheet of paper. Then place the cup over top of this process so no air or bacteria can get in to contaminate to your spores. Next, all you have to do is wait. Wait about a day and you can remove the cap from the sheet of paper. You should see what looks like a circular stain on the sheet of paper. That's called the spore print, which is made up of billions of spores. To put it simply, spores are basically the seeds of the mushroom. I'll be posting a video on what you do next to grow mushrooms from the spore print. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you want to get a complete guide on growing mushrooms, I put a link in the description. It's the guide where I learned everything and I would definitely recommend checking it out. Happy growing.